Hi, music and vinyl and cassette and CD, uh, Beatle fans everywhere. This is my um, Beatles Rubber Soul collection that I have. Um, I apologize for my voice. I've got a little bit of laryngitis today, so bear with me. But I wanted to um, first start with the vinyl um, Rubber Soul records that I have. Um, and I'll start with the American. This is my American mono version of Rubber Soul. And it's still in the shrink wrap, uh, which I can't believe. I um, would have thought that most of these would have lost their shrink wrap a while ago. But um, I was fortunate over the weekend to find a copy of this in mint condition, still in the shrink. Um, so I'm happy about that. And then this is my stereo American rubber sole. I prefer the American version actually better. Um, I don't know if it's just because I grew up with it, but I like the folk rock feel of it starting off with I've just seen a face and then starting off side two with it's only love I think works really well together but that's just my own personal preference I like the British album too but and then the um this is a reprint from the 1980s. You can tell by the little capital circle here, and there's not a band across the top. Um, this is one of the purple label uh, reprints. The sound on these is really crappy. They sound terrible, but um, this was the copy that I had growing up. And I never play it because it sounds awful, but um, it's just part of my collection. Just, I think, for nostalgic and just to kind of complete my uh, collection. Um, I noticed, for whatever reason, the picture is a lot brighter on this sleeve than it is on my um, other pressing of it, for whatever reason. This seems a, a little clearer. And then this is, I, I still have this seal. This, was, this came out in 1995. This is a British um, reprint. It's got the um, Apple logo down here at the bottom. And it's very lightweight vinyl compared to the um, 180 gram copies that I have and then this is the mono from the mono box set this is the 180 gram mono version and the back picture on these 180 grams is definitely a lot clearer too compared to the um, older pressings as it were they've really used like I, I don't know how they found cleaner copies or something of the picture but um, and then this is from the stereo the 180 gram stereo box set uh, that I have um, also with clear pictures and then I have one um, cassette and what I find interesting about the cassette is I don't know why they didn't use the original um, background for this picture, why they had to crop just the Beatles' faces and superimpose it over this kind of um, pea green background. And then they don't even use the correct font. They just kind of have this fancy font that they threw on here. Um, But at least this, unlike some of the other um, cassettes that you'll find with the Beatles, at least the running order is the same as it is on the record. On some of these cassettes, the running order is, you know, they'll um, track the first track on side two 
um, the B side is actually on um, the first track on side A and they just swap some of the songs so it's not the most coherent listening experience. And I think this this is a newer cassette that came out in the 80s, but it's the only one that um, only one that I have. And then this is the original 1987 CD. And the packaging on this um, is pretty bare bones, like it, many of these. 87 CDs and then the CD itself and then in 2009 they obviously remastered the Beatles entire catalog the British catalog and restored pretty faithfully, um, although not entirely, the back cover. This is from the um, US albums, the box set. This came with this. And this cover has been faithfully restored. Um, on this one and I don't know if that, I don't remember if the inner sleeve is anything fancy or not no it's just a regular um, well you know what actually it is they have the original um, sleeve that it came in You know what? Let's see. Let's find out. Sh well, well, you know, sure enough. It's true. It is. The actual um, sleeve that it came in. I never actually compared that before, but it's refreshing to know that it is, in fact, the right one. So... Um, anyway, sorry about that. And then, um, don't know if I'm a fan of these, um, cellophane sleeves or whatever you call them. And the, oh, I on the Capital Albums Volume 2, they also have a CD copy in here, although it does not have a original inner sleeve. And it's actually, um, these are smaller than what you find on the US Albums box set. There we go, sorry. So if you do a size comparison, this one from the Capital Albums is a little bit smaller, but it still has the rainbow label and it's got both the stereo and mono on here. Nice touch. And then this is from the mono box set. Beatles and mono box set. And these are very faithful reproductions of the actual vinyl album um, with clear artwork and um, the Beloved yellow parlophone label. 
So I think that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'd love to hear your um, see your comments if you have anything that you'd like to share. Um, if you'd like to see more videos, I'll try and do one for each of the Beatles albums that I have. Um, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you are all doing well.